Practical Vim is now in its second edition. I'm Drew Neal, the author, and I want to tell you about some of the highlights from this edition, which has been revised for Vim version 7.4. Count the matches for the current search pattern. You can use the substitute command to get a raw total, as I demonstrated in the first edition, or you can use the vimgrep command, which gives you a message like 1 of 5. Execute multiple EX commands as a batch by writing them in a file rather than typing each one out at the command line. Then source that file and each of the EX commands will be executed against the current buffer. This is not a new feature in Vim, but it's something that I learned about since writing the first edition and I found it really useful. Run the vimgrep command with a blank search field and it will look through multiple files for text that matches the current search pattern. This behaviour is new in version 7.4 of Vim. Use Vim's autocomplete feature to quickly enter sequences of words. When your co-workers see you using this technique, they'll stop you to ask how you did it. Use GN to operate on search matches. When used after an operator, this command lets you repeat the change for the next match just by pressing the dot command. That's right, you don't even have to move your cursor before repeating the change. You can use this command in combination with any operator, such as D to delete, C to change the text, or GU to modify case. Practical Vim contains over 100 tips that will show you how to work with Vim more efficiently whether you're a beginner or an intermediate user. Each example is clearly illustrated and you can download the demonstrations to try each one out for yourself. Learn to edit text at the speed of thought with Practical Vim. Available now from the Pragmatic Bookshelf.